So, just wanted to say we're gathered here today to honor Paul and to fulfill his last wishes of spreading his ashes in the sea. The sea provided Paul the basis of his dreams and wanderlust. I think we can all agree that Paul was a decent and kind man who lived his life with honor and grace. He was a curious man, always with a question on the tip of his lips and an interest in all he met, whether a friend or stranger. He sacrificed and lived for others, and it was a loving and kind husband, partner and companion to my mother for almost 30 years. Nick and I always told Paul, be good to my mother and we will always be square with you. I can tell you that Nick and I have always been square with Paul, as Paul has always treated my mother as a priority. A son could really ask, uh, not re cannot really ask for more than that from a stepfather. He was a good man with a kind heart and a pure soul. Forever and ever, he was always very positive, not an ounce of negative attitude. He's a wonderful man. He's a wonderful Thank man. You. And Evelyn is all there. I mean, I would always say, in our waiting room, no one is a better looking couple than your than Paul and your mom. Oh, they are a picture <laughs> perfect no oh. matter what. I agree. Uh, I just wrote a couple of things. You want to go? Good. Go ahead. I just wrote a couple of things on the way over here, and uh, I guess the two words to me that describe Paul more than everything is just a, a classy gentleman. Yes. He was all about class, and it, and it wasn't only the way he was dressed, but it was his spoken word and uh, and and his actions. You know, that is what I think of Paul most of all. But what I admired most about Paul was his thirst and hunger. He was always thirsty to better himself, to always become more and or more of a complete man. And and of course he happens to fall in love with a with an international woman which requires that Paul kind of step up his game some. <laughs> and, and, he, and he did. He rose up to the challenge and that hung and thirst, and thirst just uh, took him to a whole nother level, whether it was his interest in art or uh, culture. But I, but I think the best example of all of it is, is a lot of you here from his Spanish class. <laughs> and that tells us that, and even, till, even after he got diagnosed, he continued to go to his Spanish class. So his thirst, his hunger to better himself was, uh, was always there. I remember when I first met Paul, and it wasn't too long after Nick and Rick, you know, under, uh, you know, under the most trying circumstances, under a lot of change, a lot of different things happened throughout his life. Uh, and uh, like my brother said, you know, I took care of my mother. Uh, and uh, so, as stepsons, I uh, really can ask for a better guy. So I appreciated, uh, you know, every minute he was around. Uh, my mom and uh, and uh, and I just want to let you know that uh, what you saw is what we saw too. So anyway, thank you for coming. And uh. the land of spiritual freedom and splendor be swift. We ask the spirit and the blessings of all who have come to know you, as well as your ancestors to make this journey with you to your new home. You are blessed. I ask the might of the great oceans and the power of recurrence to guide you swiftly home. Keep close to you always the memories of all those who care for you, for it is their blessings that will set you your course forever and ever. Be confident that we will always hold thoughts of you deep within our soul in a warm and safe place all our days. Here in the Gulf Stream and in the beautiful Biscayne Bay, while your spirit rises to the heavens, we send you on our way. A perpetual life at sea in the embrace of the Earth's most majestic resorts, the sea. We say goodbye. We send our love and our blessings. Go swiftly along nature's passage. Our hearts are with you. 
There is no separation. You will live in our soul forever. Go left. Amen. Amen. We need to go forward a little bit. Go forward a little faster, Rick. Hold on, Enzo, because he's going to go a little faster. I don't want to have your milk. Okay. <laughs> no, nobody's going over. Why don't we throw some flowers? Right. Yes, everybody Send them take along the flowers. flowers. Everybody take the flowers. Give me a, give me I'm a, okay, a, I'm a okay, Chad. I'm okay, Chad. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Ha, 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 ha. 